Hi, my name is Liz Hicks and I'm here in the ClearSnap booth at uh, Winter CHA 2013. And today in the booth we have some awesome mini classes where we're creating a wonderful crafty flower headband using the brand new Crafters inks as well with embossing powders. We have a fun double embossing technique. I'm sure you're going to love it. You guys ready to get going here? Awesome. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for joining us today. My name is Liz Hicks, and I am here to teach you all about uh, the new re-released Crafters inks and just some different applications, techniques uh, that you can use and you can take to your store uh, to help sell the product. Whether you're doing a demo, you can take these techniques into classes. Basically, the idea here, whether you are a teacher, a designer, or a store owner or distributor, regardless of where you're coming from, understanding the capability of this ink is going to give you the best possible tools to selling it. All right, let's get to crafting. What you're gonna do is go ahead and take your flowers out, and you'll see them inside of a little bag. And with your flowers, go ahead and pick some that will resemble similar to the headband there. If we have more time at the end, you can go ahead and finish up the rest of your flowers. You have extra flowers just because they wanted to make sure that you had some choices to work with. So go ahead and pick uh, maybe two flowers as well as the leaves. And what we're gonna do is very, very simple. What you're gonna do is take the ink pad, put it down, place your flower on top and just press into it. Your fingers will get inky, but that's what the wonderful awesome baby wipes are for. So afterwards you can just clean your hands off. So what I want you to do is to go ahead and first ink your two flowers and your petals, the colors that you want. Um, again, don't worry about the other flowers for now. If you have time at the end, then you can go ahead and do those. Uh, I just want to make sure that you get the full explanation of the project before we get into the extras. And when you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and heat set it. So now what we're going to do, this is another really awesome thing about these inks, is if you look at them, it looks like you just painted these flowers. What's amazing about these inks is that we can now take, whereas you, if you were to take acrylic paint and you were to hit it with a heat tool, it would bubble up. This has the properties to dry immediately, so we don't have to wait for paint to dry anymore. It's pretty darn awesome. So what you can do if you'd like to right now, go ahead and heat set it with your heat tool. I will do want to warn you that there will be a little bit of just smoke coming up. It just means that it's drying. Um, you'll, you'll see, it'll turn, so when you're, that is a great question. When you are inking, you'll see that it's glossy. When it's done, it'll be matte. So, and it doesn't have to be completely dry right now because we're going to add more to it. So, um, it, if you want to just give it a once over real quick, that's fine. What we're going to do now is if you would like to add stamped texture to it, you can go ahead and do that now. All right, so go ahead and dry up your stamped image if you're doing that now. Uh, all right, ladies, go ahead and finish up your stamping because now we're going to get into the embossing. So go ahead and take another minute or two. Just finish it up. What you can do right now is go ahead and take your top boss and you can go ahead and um, add a layer of, of top boss ink onto the top of all of your colored elements. Uh huh. And you're going to want to make sure that you get a good amount of the top boss in. It will stay pink. What we're going to do is do take your flower. So let me just show you real quick. You're going to hey, you're going to take your flower. You're going to go ahead and uh, put embossing powder on it. You're going to activate the embossing powder, and then you're going to repeat it again. So you're embossing, embossing, which. Before you do the second time, I'm going to show you how to manipulate it to make it look more like a realistic flower. So right now, let's just go ahead and do the first emboss, where you're going to take your top boss, you're going to go ahead and use the cupcake holder that has been provided for you, stick that inside of there, put your embossing powder in it, and then uh, empty it out and heat it up. And what is your name here? Mel? Mel? I wanted to show you Mel's, how they're already starting to curl. This is going to be our objective for this next step. So let me just get your attention real quick so I can show you. Uh, we've already done one 
uh, one step in the embossing. We're gonna basically do the same exact thing, dip it into your top boss, add your embossing powder, but what we're gonna do next is mold it as you're heating it. The wonderful thing about this next step is because you have double the embossing powder, it will manipulate the way you want. All right, ladies. So go ahead and heat those up, activate those. The last step that we're gonna do is adding, gluing them down. And we're just gonna back it with felt and glue it to the, to the headband. I just wanna show you real quick um, how to add your head, your flower to your headband. So if I could just get you to look here real quick. Uh, this is just a nice small piece of sturdy felt you have. Go ahead and cut it into thirds. You're gonna use two pieces. Basically glue your flowers down to one and then add glue to the other side and then sandwich it together. Now with this glue, because zip dry, it will dry pretty quickly, but it does need a little pressure. Where would you like it at? Right there? Okay. And you basically just sandwich together like so. And then you can trim off the excess black that you don't need afterwards. So ladies, this is our double embossed technique that gives you an idea of taking something as flimsy as muslin and making it sturdy like a glossed leather.